I read it by an anonymous writer. So, credits goes to the one that written it. Many of us face some confusion when using the law. Certain questions pop up, such as how can I accept imagination to be the only true reality? I tried to accept it but it is a bit hard for me. So, how to accept that your imagination is the only true reality? Remember, when you didn't know about this law, you would think of someone that you hadn't talked to for years, and that someone would appear in your reality in minutes, hours, days, or weeks, either by texting you, you seeing their post on your feed or they meeting up with you. Oh wait, let's say, remember when you were singing a song that you love in your head, and that same song plays on the radio, someone sings it. Or that same song comes on your feed on your Instagram, TikTok exactly after some seconds or minutes of you singing that song in your head. Or let's say, you are in school, giving exams, and you know these groups of people saying and claiming boldly, I didn't study a thing, but I will still pass. And when the results come, they still pass, even without studying. Remember, oh, I have more. Remember, when you talk with someone about a certain topic, and that same topic pops up in your social media apps. Remember when a new teacher comes to the class, and you all make assumptions about them without even speaking to them. She is surely going to be so rude. And then, the teacher plays their part of being rude. Remember when you were about to say something to a friend, and he, she said exactly what you were about to say. And then you say to them, I was about to say that. And then they reply, oh really, isn't this strange? How is this all happening? Didn't you ever think about this? Not a single thing you see in your 3D was there unless and until it was once imagined and felt, yes you did that, but you were unconscious of it. There are more examples of this, but I didn't live your life, so you think of these events where you thought about something, someone and they showed up. Where attention goes, energy flows. Remember, everyone as you pushed out, and the assumptions you make about people, will surely lead them to play their part. The world projects, what goes on inside your imagination. So if that's true, doesn't that mean imagination is the only true reality? Because, the things you have, people's attitude towards you, literally everything was once imagined and felt. And they got revealed in your 3D, because 3D reflects everything that is imagined and felt. So if imagination is the only true reality, and you want people's validation, would you beg people for validation in 3D? Nope, you will simply claim in your imagination that you are validated by people and feel how it would feel if it were true, and that will externalize. One more thing. The one who is watching this video, I want your whole mind into what I'm gonna say now, as this is something people commonly do wrong, so listen. You are not trying to convince yourself of something that you're not. You are understanding that you already have the desire, you already have the marriage, the car, the house, everything. Because it's in here, in your imagination. Pluto's gate. Didn't understand. Read that text a million times again and again. Take a screenshot if you want. Just understand what it meant. As this is something people commonly make mistakes with and don't get their desire. Just once, if you accept your desires in your imagination, and feel them real and believe that you have them, you will no longer try to manifest it. Why? Because you literally have it. You wouldn't be stressed about making mistakes in your techniques like, oh, maybe I didn't visualize vividly during my sat scene. Oh, maybe I didn't affirm it enough. It doesn't matter, you literally have it. Why? Because you have it in your imagination. And imagination is the only true reality. Take this from Neville himself, here. When man finally identifies himself with his imagination rather than his senses, he has at long last discovered the core of reality. Now you might have some questions, like, one but the 3D went completely the opposite. No matter what happens, turn within and be still. Two so everything I see in 3D, the good and the bad, is caused by me. The world is a mirror, forever reflecting what you are doing, within yourself. Three why are some people so rude to me? People echo what you whisper within yourself. Four I want this thing so badly, but it's not manifesting. It is not what you want that you attract, you attract what you believe to be true. Five I believed I have my desire, but it still hasn't manifested. Why? If you judge after appearances, you will continue to be enslaved by the evidence of your senses. 6. I watch videos after videos on how to manifest and different techniques every day. I still don't get results. Knowing what to do is one thing. Doing it is another, and we are called upon to be doers of the word, and not just hearers only, deceiving ourselves. You can read one of my books over and over again. You can tell others what the book says, but if you never apply its message, the mere reading of its words will not benefit you. But if you test your imagination, it will prove itself in performance. This is pretty much it. I hope I helped people. One small advice I have. I overconsumed information for a year and two months. It squandered so much of my time, and I regret it. Please don't be like me. You know what to do. Stop watching video after video. It's an endless loop. Beware. I hope you understood what Neville and I meant here. Anyways, have a great life ahead.
Break the pattern today, or the loop will repeat tomorrow. Subscribe if you liked this video. Happy manifesting!